Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. Take this. They're looking for you. Oh, shit! Here they come. This is our you boat now, Nazi. You ain't getting it back. Mr. Blaskovich, I'm very happy to see you awake. Not so happy Anya, to see you out of bed. Where is she? Last time I saw her, she was uh, she was with Caroline defending the cell platform elevator. Then point me in that direction, sir. Ingrid. You know how long you've been in bed? Five months. Your body is broken. You understand? Your kidneys are failing. You you you, you might have difficulties to 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 urinate, to use your schmeckle, to do many no other things. No time for this. Just tell me. Uh, Frau England, she's been hunting for you. She's been moving heaven and earth, and today she found you. The Nazis breached the U-boat. Many wounded, many dead. I was separated from the others. I have to go. No, no. Hackman is I told you no. Said, help me find the sail platform elevator. You are such an auction. You are such an auction. Okay. Now there are many Nazis between here and the sail platform elevator, but. I set several traps. I didn't have the time to activate them, but look at this. This is a map for to show you where the traps are. Uh, put them to good use for the Fakakte Fascist. Uh, okay, be careful. Uh, try not to get killed if you don't mind. Off you go. Pro Angle. You're hunting me. Got that backwards, lady. I'm hunting you.
platform elevator. As we're having twins. <laughs> Not now, Kinderlech. If we survive, you'll have enough time for Schmuzerei. Now, let's get you outside. Onto the deck. Onto the deck. Oh, hold on, William. mit einer Waffe? Loslassen! Loslassen! Sigrun! Warum atmest du so schwer? Ich weiß nicht, Mutter. Ah! Das weißt du nicht? <lacht> Dida! Abführen zum Feuer! Ja, Mutter. Du hast die vereinbarten Leibesübungen nicht gemacht und deine Weg nicht eingehalten! Vergib mir, Mutter. Ich habe gestern ein kleines Stück Kuchen gegessen, nur ein ganz kleines... Du dumme Kuh! Du 
ist eine Schande für deine Rasse und für deine Familie. Was werden die Leute sagen, wenn du in eine Klinik für Fettsüchtige kommst? Eine Generalstochter! Was für eine Schande. Los, warte ja halt. Ist nicht mal eine Backfalle wert. Er ist da oben. Da bin ich mir sicher. Arbeit nach drinnen! Ja, Mutter. Los, rein, Männer. Ich lock ihn raus. Megafon. Trapped our vessel, Anishka. What can we do? You ride it. We'll have to somehow release our U boat once you're up there. I can't lose you. You're weak, William. You're in no shape to fight. I'll find a way. <laughs> you're going to run us over with your little wheelchair? I've been better, but I think I got the blood stopped now. Give me one good reason not to blow your brains out right fucking now. Real slow, like a little disoriented on account of the blood loss. I can help you. I can give you information. Military secrets. I can tell you how to release your U-boat. Also, the escape pods over there. I know the codes to open them. Wait, 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 wait. How do we release our U-boat? The door that leads to the controller bay. The electromagnetic tractor arms. You can deactivate them from there, and that will release your robot. Can you open that door then? Yes. All right, Blasco. Head on in there. Locate the controller bay and release our U boat. Oh, don't think I'll be much use to you at the moment. I'll stay here and defend this. I'm sorry about you. Shut up, Blas.
Automated security system.
escape pod! Let's go, we have to get the fuck out of here, no! Hey! They have to go! Well, that's smart! Can you stop fidgeting, you want something for the pain? No, 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 just, just get on with it, man. <laughs> now listen up, Caroline had a plan. Yes. The liberation of the United States of America. Caroline wanted to free the U.S. and use it as a stepping stone to liberate the rest of the world. Come fuck her, high water. This is what we're gonna do for Caroline. Oh, for God's sake, Max, stop helping. Why is there a Nazi on the boat? Because uh, if it wasn't for this Nazi traitor, we'd all be dead by now. Uh, we owe her, so we can't kill her. Unless she fucks us over. You gonna fuck us over? No, mister. And I'm not a Nazi. Not anymore. All right. Now, Caroline had established radio contact with an American resistance cell in New York City. The only way we move forward... Caroline's plan is to build alliances with U.S. resistance groups and mobilize the people for a revolt. Death charges! Oh, what in the name of Satan's bloody ass is happening? I hear surface breaches. Multiple surface breaches. It's from fucking angle. Well, someone can't tell me how the fuck she found us. <clears throat> well, speak up. Someone inside your U-boat is transmitting your position. That is bloody marvelous. The Ausmerzer has been receiving messages from someone inside your boat. That's how we found you. Fucking who? Section F. Fucking what? There it is, Section F. But there is no Section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there is no door there. What if there is? What if someone is hiding in the transmitting that signal? You want to investigate? I'm gonna have to go have a lay down. Can the left? Come. <clears throat> Must be here. Move this locker! Well, the shot from the other side. Here, go there. Hey, look to me. Use this. Fergus came to me with some thoughts for improvement. I think it would hit a little. Thanks. I miss the old girl. I will open this when you are done, big man. William, you have to find the transmitter and shut it down, or the depth charges will rupture our hull. We've made a mistake. On the floor plan, Section F just looks like a little laundry room. We looked for it when we first searched the U-boat after you captured it, but we didn't see the entrance door. And with all the things we were worrying about back then, I suppose we didn't bother looking too closely. But now I've re-examined the floor plan and there's a reference to a completely different document. The engineering map of Section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it. A different document. The engineering map of Section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it. different. The engineering map of Section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it.
Liam, I found the engineering map. Ballast tank, nuclear warhead stockpile. Oh my god. Section F stretches along the entire hull of the U-boat, and we're on the biggest U-boat in the world, so this section is gigantic. Some of it must serve as a main ballast tank or something, because it's a massive volume. Be careful, William. No telling how many Nazis could be hiding in there. William, those Nazis have been surviving in there ever since you captured the U-boat five months ago. They must be starving and desperate. Stay safe, darling. William, I took a closer look at the stockpile of nuclear warheads in Section F. According to the engineering map, there's dozens of warheads in there. Let's hope the Nazis haven't no, tampered with them. Don't think I'm gonna make it. A few more weeks, maybe. With your grace. William. The Ausmats is losing track of us now. Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there.
Come, Blasco, wait. Come. Everyone is gathered. at his workshop so he can check up on you. I worry about your health. And I better eat something before I pass out. Set. he knows as well as I do. What I got, he can't cure. Okay, Max. Time. Max Hoss. Hey, Max. Why you look so glum? I know you like Rosa, but this is the natural order of things. Piggies die so humans can eat. Max Hoss. And we have run out of food for her. We only have people food left. No piggy food. Max Hoss. Max Hoss. Max. Max Hoss. Hey, okay, Max. Max. Okay. For now, Piggy will not be food. And wipe that sad look of your face. Hey, bro. Happiness is a choice, Max. Remember that. Smile. Hey. Thing. I can't stop eating it. What, peanut butter? Peanut butter. Wow. Horrible. Horrible. What happened to Caroline? I'll miss her. Good leader. Not like the foul-mouthed old Scott. Hey. Fergus can be very sweet when he wants to. Like when he's yelling at people for trying to help? Or cursing them out in front of everyone? Sure. He usually has a point. But does he have to be so damn mean about it? And he's always very nice to me. Yeah. What's that about? Maybe Fergus has a thing for sweet Maria. Oh. Uh, no! No, 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 no. La, uh, definitely not. Do you think so? Goodbye. Je vous estes me, 
you are in great you pain, you for that you are being eaten from the Shut inside. Up, I do not! Whatever you say, my friends. But tell me, why are your cheeks turning so red? Yes, hello, Captain. Mr. Stubbins. Good days and bad days, Irina. When I take my pills, I get a Why does that always leave such a mess for us to clean up? I don't know, my friend. I imagine he's got more important things to tend to. Hey! Do you two knobheads move that conversation elsewhere so I can get some bloody sleep? Yeah, sorry, Wing Commander. We'll finish another time. Aye. Carry on and fuck off. Good night. What the hell is that thing? This is not a thing, Simpson. This is not a thing. This is this is the body of a squirrel monkey and the head of my beloved Siamese kid. Shoshana, look at you. He's not gonna do anything to you. He's a good man. You see, I, I found Shoshana hunting for rats in the reactor room when we captured the U-boat. A few months later, she was dying of bowel cancer when, when I stumbled upon this practically brain-dead monkey chewing on a blasting cap. And please do me a favor, Mr. Blaskovich, lower your axe. You're making me nervous. This is not only my, my favorite animal. This is most probably my, my most significant scientific achievement. Yes, you are significant. You, you're hungry? Here's a fish cake. You see, <clears throat> in order to do a cross-species head transplant, you need to A, bridge the spinal column, she's okay. B, harmonize otherwise totally recalcitrant biological system, respiratory and circuitry. Okay, and I get it. Spare me the size, mumbo jumbo. What am I doing? I'm like an old cotch kid who had such a long day and I'm, I'm sorry. Let's see, you want something for the sleep, Ingela? No, no, I just need to keep busy. Distractions. Uh, no, I understand. I understand. We all grieve in different ways. But I have a perfect distraction for you, Ingle. Look, a few days ago, Anya asked me to make a shooting range for the fighters on board. It's almost finished, but I was experimenting with an old German uh, drone for target practice when suddenly this fakakta machine went Adolf Hitler on me, started running Michigan in there. So I had to lock it inside. Do you mind going in there? and destroying the drone. And, uh, feel free to, to try my shooting range. Tell me how you like it. No, just come back, give me your thoughts when you're done. Okay, Eli? Okay, I'll have a look. I appreciate it, thank you. In sad times, I like to listen to music. Do you like music, Herr Blaskovich? Look at 
Captain. Let's see how the old man stacks up. Sizzle, Captain. Find your strength. Many Nazis left to kill. You're back, Shimshin. How was my shooting range? Ah, uh, well done, Yingle. You fresh apple, you. Eblaskovich, your lady, Anya, she of us here looking for you? Oh, 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 yes. Anya found Caroline's notes about the American resistance cell in New York City. Look for her in Caroline's room. Have you listened to the Kefa cassette? Yeah, what, my dear? Moon, moon, yeah, yeah. Behind this in the band, the Kefa. Uh -huh. Have you listened to their music? 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 You want my head to explode? Madeline, it's music she calls it. They sing very well. Yes, yes, they do. And they look good, too. Oh, well, of course. That's not a bad thing, is it? No, it's not bad. No. Johann is my favorite. So mysterious. Oh, very mysterious. Now, I remember romance. Yeah, I do. Vaguely. It's just make-believe. Mother doesn't like make-believe. She has my marriage already arranged to the son of the head of the secret police in Berlin. That's fantastic, fantastic. I don't know anything about him except that he sweats a lot, plays golf all the time, and uh -huh. smells of onions. I hate onions. Yeah, well, you, you are free of your mother right now, no? Yeah, you, you can go on any romantic adventure you like. Just do it. Yeah. I s suppose that is true. Moon, moon. Yeah, yeah. Madeline, do me a favor. Behind Just shh, 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 shh. Yeah, you catch, 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 catch all day long. Moon, Shoot. moon. Yeah, yeah. Behind the scenes, under the cross and fascia. Moon, moon. Yeah, yeah. Behind the scenes, under the. Good evening, Captain Blaskowitz. Captain Blaskowitz. smell her in here. I found Caroline's notes on the American resistance cell in New York City. I know their exact location. Can you look for Fergus for me? He's been back on his feet again after the surgery. And I asked him to bring me some nitroglycerin from the ammo depot, but he hasn't returned. Go to the ammo depot next to the shooting range and find him. We have to gather everyone and get ready for our next move. We've almost arrived in New York City.
right, Fergus? How's the arm? Please. Please help me. What happened to your face? I think she's trying to kill me, Blasco. Well, what? Have you ever drifted off peacefully to sleep, only to be brutally awoken by your own prosthetic arm, savagely jumping you in the eye? I had to turn it off. Is that normal? What's that say? Uh, something about there being a, a learning curve and whatnot. How I needed to learn how to trust it. I don't know. I'll tell you, I don't think I'll be using it to take a piss anytime soon. Maybe it's like training a game dog to show weakness in the pounds. What you gotta do is show that thing who's in charge. Right, right. Well, you just uh, stand there and be ready to step in in case it uh, looks like I'm about to die. Resistance group is concealed at the top of the state building. Uh, said I assume the high altitude means the radiation is at tolerable levels. Definitely. <laughs> right. However, we can simply fly in there in our Nazi helicopters because we're gonna be shot down. Can't we re-establish contact then and let them know our helicopters are friendly? I've looked, but I couldn't find any means of contacting them in Caroline's notes. Bloody hell. Well, I will need to approach from ground level then. Introduce ourselves properly, face to face. Ground level. The whole city is saturated by fallout from the Nazi atom bomb. Lethal levels of radiation if we go there without protective wear. Yeah, well, this one. Well, this armor will shield from all radioactivity. Oh. Will you do it then, Blasco? Have you grown too weak and useless now? Always wanted to see the Big Apple. Lovely. Well, by then, drop him off now, eh? No problem, Wing Commander. Can I be of use? What do we know, lass? Can you? Five degrees pot, on sun continues, straight forward. You got it, Blondie. Hey, big friend. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles? He's not New York underground crawling with crocodiles. Oh no, I'm from Texas.
Yeah, Blasco. Find your way through the bombed out city and reach the state building. Faster the better. Fergus out. Should get to work on upgrading my weapons.
State Building. Caroline, will you help light the way? See if it moves. William, do you read? If you are on 5th Avenue, the State Building should be near.
showed me postcards from your family in New York City. Wanted to go there. Just you and me. Hello, big boy. Come to test the old man's metal. the top of the state building and make contact with the resistance group. Look for elevators, stairs, anything. The radiation levels should be acceptable at the top of the building. Your voice, Anya. Every second, a glory. Absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What do you say? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? Well, you ain't a fascist Nazi pig, then you are the you're a deviant. Are you sure as hell ain't so you trying to pass as a deviant? You look like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. I may not be a deviant. God, I told you you're a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Oh, sucker! Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn Nazi. Hey! Now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now, or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Lady, I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a duck. Oh, you bitch got a sick sense of humor. Oh, uh, dude, you're crushing me. Oh, oh. Chili, okay? It's my papa's recipe. Ain't got no spoon, though. Oh, thanks. So what's, uh, with the chicken fence? Chicken <laughs> That's That's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the, the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. Oh. I almost got killed by William goddamn Blaskowitz. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind? You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time. When I came up, 
Looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno, you know what I'm saying? I remember main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember screams echoing through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms, and they just drooped. Like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. And I remember his mama. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? That's gonna leave a mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. Now why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of bad assery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I got, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, Special? There's pigs, lots of them coming up the stairs. They're gonna fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, you got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya, we're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on. Get your shit. You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you fascist Nazi pigs. Ah! <laughs> 
Right. Everyone's safely evacuated off the roof. Jump in, Glasgow. Every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. They done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. I got... I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace is always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. <sighs> I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. Nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz! You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting, killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit! Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right! <laughs> What do you think about this, Mendrick? I think I got you now, my little... Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, Matsula. So this is where all the decisions are made. Huh. We're gonna need a room to sleep nearby. This one looks empty. Super Spash! Hey, Englishman. I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Please. Say what? Please, you ask for something, you say please, and don't fucking call me English, man. Okay, you want to step to me, motherfucker, you want to get shit done, because I'm game either way. Don't, don't mind that. Absolutely no control over the thing. Happy to oblige. What's up, boss? We bunking in here. Oh, you got it, sister. All right. Listen up, brothers and sisters. The, uh, touchy Englishman is going to show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around. Find a place to bunk in, get to know the boat folk, and hey, don't start no shit. But don't take none either. Don't get now. Well, uh, what the kind lady said, follow me. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed off the entrance to Section F, because it's been flooded since the attack. Blaskowitz, you know how to swim? Yep. Maybe this isn't bad. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I said, what the fuck is this, man? Is this a working toilet I see before me, handled toward my hand? Yes. Yes, this toilet can handle all sorts of waste, you know, feces, urine. Vomitus, you name it. Do you have ass wipe? If by that you mean toilet paper, yes. Yes, of course we need to mind our rations a little bit, but uh, oh. there's ass wipe in oh, there. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my sweet God in heaven. A working mother flushing toilet. I never thought I'd see the day. It's just... Um, okay, okay. I'm just gonna be in here for a minute. Good luck. What is this? Don't plug it! 
think you're smart, huh? Hmm. How about Hey, yeah. we need that nuclear warhead from Section F. No. Go get it, would you? Thanks. How's that nuclear warhead coming along? We need it. Anya said there was a stockpile in Section F. Night sauce. Greetings. Grace, you read? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. Heads up for you. Looking at the engineering map, there seems to be a defense system guarding the nuclear warhead stockpile. I count one, three, four, five, hibernation sarcophagi in the vicinity. Be ready for anything. Grace out.
copy. This is the conclusion I've reached. Whatever happens, she can't know she'll be rearing our babies alone. It's my burden to bear until it's hers. So here's what I'll do. Keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar. Bring it to the old man. Seth, was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Shimshin, it's not the Tots cam. It, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. A little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. Oh, Shimshin. You should really take it easy, Ingele. William? 
What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. And the longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! What, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Well, the toilet works. Smashy, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to Mission Control and get all your ducks in a row. Now the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blazkowicz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas 1 is mission ready, all right? up and told her. Turns out, the hurt I tried to spare was mine, not hers. safe, Barbara. That's what matters. Don't you worry. It reminds me of when the bomb fell. Being deep underground, trapped, feeling Mama's hand, or holding on to it. Yeah, but on the upside, there's no radiation, no Nazis, hidden from the world. And we're safer than we've been in like forever. I know, I'm being irrational, Huey, but I can't control it. I'm feeling it, being suffocated. It feels like I can feel the dust clogging up my throat. The heat from the first wave and the screams. The fucking screams, man! Hey, come on, girl. Just breathe. Try to breathe. <sighs> you okay, sister? Right. Let's see if this bird is ready so to fly like Grace asked me to. Put everything else out of your mind. Fat and sassy. Should let Grace know. Right on.
Yep. All set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. Mm. I think it's time we had a gathering. Uh, Max! What have you done? This is no good! What's going on? Oh, shit. Here he comes. What are you sure about looking up? For Christ's sake! Why wasn't anyone watching him? Uh, Fergus, everyone is busy. No time for babysitting. Well, lock him up with a pig, then. What's the problem? Mentors! Our favorite shirt. Fuck, Max! <laughs> Fergus, it's only a shirt. No, it's not just a fucking shirt. I got this shirt at Kinloss. It's the only one I have. All right, y'all. Drop whatever the fuck you're doing. Because we got some hell to raise. Hey, Englishman. You got nukes on this ship, did you know that? Oh, is that why it only took one of them to level Death's Head's entire fucking compound? You figured that out, old great genius. Oh, so you knew. Yet you only used the one. Explain that blip to me, shit for brains, because you are stupid for real. Oh, fuck's sakes. You can't bloody well just go around dropping bombs on random civilians, you dim-witted bambot. Oh, eat me, cocksucker. I'm not saying we chunk nukes at a bunch of cities all willy-nilly, pencil dick. Do I look like a fucking Nazi to you? No, 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 no. I would say you most resemble a... skitterdrukit rag, emitting a heinous honking similar to that of a shite spoon volcano, affronting the senses at full force. Well, at least my face isn't a dead ringer for a massive prolapsed rectum. I don't want to blow a gut just looking at your bleary eyed. You know what I'm saying? The reason we haven't used one of the other atom bombs, which would be obvious to anyone who isn't profoundly idiotic, is we need a proper target first. Well, I'm here to say that I got a proper target. And it's a fucking good one, too. So sit your clown ass down, you dumb fuck Scottish motherfucker. Fair enough. Check it out. I sent Specie ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specie's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base, where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Hmm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. That's you, one of our biggest safe keeps. Yeah, it was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the US government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell, the Nazis took hold. Safe keep. Uh, okay. Shit. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Hey. That's where the top brass clock tails of the Nazi war machine reside. Yeah, well the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for. What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range. 
so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell, rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner, and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. So, Americans, are you going to the concert tonight? Oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK for Ancient Jeb. Well, the music makes me happy. What's wrong with that, Wayne? Nothing wrong with that, Jeb. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. sure. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world, because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank, dank. Yes, out with it. Dank, danky. <laughs> my God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Donk, uh, I've heard enough. No more. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice harder. Oh, I will, sir, and I am so sorry. Uh, you look familiar. Ha, das sind keine Abschüsse. Die sorgen dafür, dass das Problem nicht wegrutscht. Ich habe Probleme mit schwitzigen Händen. Ich krieg Ausschlag an den Fuß. Was sollen wir mit Holz? Wir sind doch hier nicht mit Wein. Mir gefällt's. Kaltes Bier nach Dienstschluss und Feld ist in Ordnung. Hey, ich lade dich heute Abend ein. Wir haben nur diese winzigen Ami-Gläser. Aber wir können die Blumenvasen von der Fensterbank nehmen. <lacht> Abgemacht. Where have I seen you before? Hey, Mister, wanna buy a newspaper? <laughs> I can. Hey, Mister, wanna buy a newspaper? I got today's news for you right here, Mister. Only one Reichsmark. Say, Mister, you look familiar to me. Are you some kind of celebrity? Mister, you. Oh, my God. If you are who I think you are, I just want you to know I am behind you all the way. Look at you people. Celebrating your own destruction. Just listen to that lovely marching beat. I'm so happy you Germans brought some culture to this country. Kamerdad Neidner? Did I pronounce that right? You really must correct me if I didn't. Oh, d just a, a bit more practice, Frau Deinetta. And you will pass the test on changeover day with the highest marks. I just couldn't stand all that primitive jungle music they used to play. Jazz and rock and roll. Quite ver... ver Schrecklich, <laughs> like you would say, right? <laughs> yes, good, Frau Deinetta. You know, I see great potential in you. Your attitude is impeccable. <laughs> you flatter me, Captain. 
You are a lady deserving of flattery, Paula. No, oh, stop. But I wonder one thing, Captain. Tell me. Why do you tolerate that awful band, De Kaffer? Those boys are Englishmen pretending to be German. I even stopped listening to Mozart when I heard he's not German at all, but some kind of impure Austrian. Now, Beethoven, <laughs> that is... Fraulein Ebb, may I remind you that the Führer himself is Austrian by birth? And so is my grandmother. Oh, uh, oh, I I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to... To insult the Führer like that is... It's, it's outrageous. I really didn't mean to... Be quiet, Fraulein. Your name will be reported to my superiors. Oh, please, please, no! You will be carefully monitored from now on. Do not step out of line again, or you will face grave consequences. Do you understand? Yes, sir, I... Quiet! I caught my slave red-handed trying to steal from me the other day. That's terrible. Having hoodlums in your own house. Look, like you must move on to some country. Hello, I told him to do so long as he got out of the blood. Push on his family away. They'll end up in the New Orleans ghetto, I reckon. Well, that's how these people can survive in there. The government ought to just burn the whole city to the ground and be done with it. Yeah, better not worry about it. Hey, we got a parade to watch. Hello, sir. on a date yet, but soon. You're invited, of course, Auntie. Oh, that's nice, dear. Give my regards to your father when you return to the farm. Oh, and tell him I'm putting some hard-working slaves up for auction this week if he's interested. There'll be cocktails. I'll tell him, Auntie. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Bye-bye, dear. Salad to go. Uh, no cheese, no onions, no dressing. Is there noodles in that? Uh, yes, but we could make it without if that's better. Yes, that would be great. Oh, and a piece of pie as well. Certainly. You can uh, take a seat down by the counter and I'll be very good with you. Uh, it would be great if it could be fast. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Certainly, ma'am. I took Mary Jane to see his reef style movie last night. Gee whiz, what a swell movie. The Fjord sure cleaned up Hollywood from all that depraved filth they used to show in the cinema. <laughs> now, it's much more wholesome. And what a hoot of a movie. You're in for a real treat. What is taking them so long? Why don't they open? Say, why don't we come again on Saturday? We'll make it a double date. You bring Mary Jane, and I'll bring Mandy. Uh, next weekend, maybe. I'm taking German classes at the library this weekend. No! They're good. <laughs> folks. Just strolling around with my nuke.
love parades. Maybe you've heard. Our Matthew is joining the Wehrmacht. We are driving him to the military institute tomorrow. Our Maddie. We are so proud. How lovely. Eddie talked about Matthew the other day. They used to be inseparable. Where is he, by the way? Oh, he went to find himself a better spot closer to the parade. Wanted to get a real good look at the Panzer boat. Hey, why aren't your neighbors here? I haven't seen them in months. The Sandersons? One day they were just gone. House empty. Didn't even leave a note. Well, that's strange. Wasn't Dottie Sanderson's son in the army? You mean Michael? He died in the Normandy Massacre. I see. Mrs. Sanderson was quite vocal about the way things turn out after the war, if you know what I mean. Oh, weren't we all at first? Then we saw all the good things the Germans were doing for this country, didn't we? Arthur got his old job back at the factory. Oh, I tell you, things were going to hell in a handbag. <laughs> That's the gods on this room. What a parade. Here in our small town. A marvel to be called, Betty Bob. Papa Joe's All-American Diner. My kind of dive. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff? Practice your German, dear. You will need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, my Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa. And that he made the atom bomb. And then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet your behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. <sighs> Wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will he ever get home-cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? Sure can. Yes! If we ever get service in this godforsaken place. Hold your horses. Oh, hello there, sir. Please, have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz. Speci knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Hello? Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. But, Mom, we no have any butts. Oh! Bitte schön. Danke. Good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of station one? There you come, up. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> mm. Now you, show me your identification papers, please. Did you not hear me? I said, show me your papers. 
Are you slow in the head? Show me deine verdammten Papiere. Kommandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Kommandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Mm. 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 Mein Gott. Oh mein Gott, das bist du. Das bist du! Blast, we shut the fucking front door! Before any more goddamn Nazi show for milkshakes! Not that I don't trust you, Blaskwitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskwitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I made the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special, lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. It's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part. You know? maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah! Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest, Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases and they kept doing their own experiments due to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's, uh, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, 
whatever it is, and it, it, it ain't Martian. No, all right, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien based. It ain't space aliens. I talked. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Ober Commando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains.
filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby.
must be the dot you should safe keep set was talking about. the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it.
You to keep running, Nazis. Where are you all going? See if Grace has a job for me. Put this new body to good use. You good? Boldo's dead, brother. Don't know if anyone's told you. Haas 2 just dropped us off for a mission when he caught a bullet from a Nazi sniper. Poor bastard. Keep him in your prayers, Blasco. Hey. It's good to see you, Grace. <sighs> Shit. Blaskowitz, you are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? 
all this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There was nothing I could do. What did he say? What? What were his last words? I need to know. He said it was space aliens, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. He said, Oh, Ingo, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Well, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like nobody can be it. Yes, sir. But it. Oh! Gotenya! Sir. Gotenya, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Mm, yes, ma'am. I'll tell them. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blasco. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto is home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then, they gathered up all the undesirables, and they dumped them there. So that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure. Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is it ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. It's a fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for Manhattan District. Got it. Or Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming. Find a way inside the nuclear bunker before the radiation levels, you know, kill you. Wow. Uh -huh. 
the Nazis keep the stolen intel inside their command center. You gotta find your way in there. Langweilig. Mein Onkel Gerhard war vor dem Krieg geschäftlich hier und meinte, New York wäre eine Stadt, die niemals schlecht ist. In Manhattan war vor der Zeit, als Atomare ein.
shooting cans with my BB gun. Except bigger can. Bigger gun. Yeah, Grace wanted. Guess that's my cue. Blasco X, I'm ready to pick you up. Just get to higher ground and signal your location. Hey, you 
alive. Check it out. Got some smoking fresh Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yingle? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry! You see, the Das Yichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose... I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry! <sighs> All right. Yes, 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 no, I must not be disturbed. Go away. Va bene, but if she's right, that terminal could help us locate top Nazi commanders. We've never been able to do that before. Yeah, I don't know. The girl is proud. No say I like her, but the information could be useful. Mm -mm. Should check out this Enigma machine everyone's so jazzed up about. Oh, William, I wish we could spend some time alone, but we're so close to New Orleans. I just hope it's not too late. a real serious issue on our hands, man. All right, Dick. I was doing inventory in the ammo depot when this gigantic asshole of a rat jumped straight at me like it got rabies or some shit. Biggest rat I ever seen in my life. Big as a dog. If I hadn't been so lucky that a box fell on top of it and trapped it, man, I'm not sure what would have happened. You gotta go to the ammo depot and kill it, man. Be careful not to get bit. I guarantee the motherfucker will give you tetanus or God knows what else. Running high, little guy. Ain't your fault you're a rat. Damn, you got balls, baby. Thanks. Can sleep easy now knowing that fucking monster rat ain't coming to claw my eyes out. Scary shit, man. Hello, Captain. Good day. Hello, mister. Grace. 
Alright. This motherfucker don't wait, Abby, or I'll break your idiot neck. I got you then a warrantless dossier. I'm sorry. It's just that it took me hours to put her down. Okay, let's roll. In other news, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. Der Terroranschlag auf Roosevelt war ein Weckruf für das amerikanische Volk. Wir sind in der Idee, wenn ich es sicher bin, wir glauben. Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history, chronicling the hunt and capture of terror villains. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play Terror Billy? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes. My brothers and sisters. For the longest time I've been hearing through the grapevine about this resistance. Leader. Named. Court. I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to calibrate the fucker. Mm -hmm. Horton. Horton and his crew are holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the USO Blazkowicz. I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, this shit ain't gonna be easy. Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them anyway. Because we got something else. Anya, tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Fergus will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. is counting on us, my brothers and sisters. it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Hey, Blasco. Not seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Now, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out.
Blaskowitz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Orton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days? Should get to work on upgrading my weapons.
start up that overhead crane. Moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, <laughs> you know, excited. <coughs> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss.
Sounds like someone is putting up a fight. Take my hand! You a preacher? No, this? Lord, Lord, I picked these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts? Apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcasts, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's... Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty some bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going hot in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said, Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton Special. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, 
I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they dressed people like you for their dirty work while they was watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the takerest men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit and decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear, we'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or they lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, Terry Billy, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jeep. <clears throat> Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die, or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry Billy. Too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you! I got kids on the way! And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes! So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it! Harris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pulled some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Gordon, you better get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now again! See what this puppy can do.
Anya. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. Now you stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton. What's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Next stop, Lakeview District. with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! Fergus, I read. Fergus, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up! Laskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building booth and climb on board the U-boat. We spotted the outsmerts on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass! The evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded, and the outsmercer is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? I figure the shockwave from the atom bomb could push the boat out to sea. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull.
Got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope? For our angle commands it now. Using the Taunt Terrace. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. And if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer would swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bands. Are we gonna start this revolution? We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack, conquer the Alice Mercer, and use it against the Nazis. Now, the Alice Mercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Oberkommando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Oberkommando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Oberkommando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah? Not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor. Traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh... Mind my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Leave the pretend acting for those so inclined. Your agent got you on the short list for this? Nah, man. Casting director saw me on a mystery show. Thought I had the right face. This is exciting, man. Venus and all? Yeah, no, it's a little weird, though, no? Why Venus? What's wrong with L.A.? Producer gotta be a real big cheese. Yeah. Muhammad must go to the mountain type deal. Hmm. Yeah. Any stage experience? What was your name? Roland, was it? Ronald. Ronald. Nah. I used to do uh, broadcasts uh, when I was younger. Nowadays, it's all pictures and TV. Yeah, I thought about doing film acting, but I just love the theater. You know, I'm not sure I even want this role. It's not like real acting unless you're on a stage in front of a live audience. You know what I mean. 
Sure thing, Chief. Unbelievable. I will murder your dirty race, too. Oh, come on, Johnny. Hey. Ooh, better than this. I'll murder... Oh. I will murder your dirty race. Oh, Jesus, you moron. Würden Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen das ist? Ja, ja, es sind Schauspieler, mein Führer. Schauspieler? Ja. Äh, diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und was konnten wir nicht finden? Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, 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 das kriegen Gott, wir. Gott, nochmal! Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh ja, Schminke. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Ja. Magisch. Magisch. Schauspieler. Geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und der Täuschung. Ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist ja ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler, wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. Ja, sie kommen immer wieder. Wölfe im Schafspelz. Inspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William oh, Josef Platzkowitsch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert-Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeile, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! <lacht> Willen. Nein. 
Buddy. <laughs> Beer is so cold. Fuck. <coughs> Fuck. See. Sie spielen die Szene. Elena, zusammen mit ihnen. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! What are you going to do to me? Uh... I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. I will murder your dirty race too. <laughs> Die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Platzkowitsch. Wie können Sie sein, was Sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen Sie die Rolle. Füllen Sie, füllen Sie, füllen Sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are! And you're a Nazi whore. You monster. What are you going to do to me? I will rape you. And I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race too. <laughs> Sie könnten von ihm lernen. Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich kannte ihn. In- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Mein Gott. Mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Platzkowitsch. Aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Und tatsächlich hat sie nach seiner Exekution aufschnitten, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Helene, oh. machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Esperance, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, he was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Bloskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldiers standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Le Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? You will each improvise a fight sequence. And uh, once the guard is eliminated, uh, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card, exactly as written. Places and action. Oh, 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 stop, stop! Oh, God, I, I, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I need a doctor. Line. Okay. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. 
And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha 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 ha, what? Oh God, God! God, yo. Oh, oh, schrecklich! Oh, oh, why? Mr. Redfield, please. The floor is yours. Help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. Was zur Hölle ist das? Secret Odin codes. Then we steal the Ausmerzer, take out General Engel, and show the American people what revolution looks like. Ich war auch mal in einem Feuergefecht. Keine Ahnung von wem. Achtung, Fehlfunktion, Navigationssystem beschädigt, nicht, nicht, nicht. Notfallauswurf eingeleitet. Landung in T-3, 2, 1. Feels heavy. Brutal heat. 
like Texas in August. Time to break into the facility, find the Oberkommando, steal the Odin codes for General Angle's ship. Slick as a whistle.
landscape. That view is prettier than a pie supper.
Welcome to the Oberkommando. Population zero. I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, for Chris, but please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit, now it's on. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Black Squids. Hey, 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 hey.
man. Somebody shit the fuck out of that toilet. Oh, come on. Yeah. May <laughs> preserve your half miss hair jar. Oh, dear, Billy. <laughs> Come on, give him a punch! Max. Mm. Oh. Next horse! Next horse! Oh, schmier! Oh, give him a schmier! Oh. 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 Get the fuck off me, lass! Should I go get the fuck off me? Hey! I'm a bloody weak commander! starts with the corn and on occasion we've done barley but I think well I like rye but he usually does corn and then with the is still drunk and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey! Come on! Oh. Come on! Oh. Oh, I tell you, when a man's gone teetotally drunk and disorderly, there's only one cure. Oh, was that? Old Horton's patented hangover blaster. She yes. doesn't swallow his own tongue. No. What's in it? Uh, let me see a uh, tablespoon ketchup, mm, orange juice, half a tin of anchovies. Two raw eggs, chili pepper, uh, two teaspoons, a dough chicken stock if you got it, and a cough syrup, and a, about a cup of fine whiskey. No siree, Bob. I haven't seen Fergus's arm here or anywhere, Captain. The traveling show throw some crazy fed old door. Oh, goodness gracious. Last night, sure take the cake. You said chili pepper, right? Uh, two teaspoons. I know I've seen chili pepper in here somewhere. Hey, Captain. Looking for Fergus's arm, mister? Sorry to disappoint you, but I was kind of too busy getting wasted to pay attention. Boyden's people seem I. I specify. Damn it, Fergus. Why you always gotta be losing your arm? Mr. Blaskovich, I require your help. I have a friend, Mr. Stubbins. He forgot to take brain medication pills, and now he's mad in head. To old crew quarters he went, refusing to come out. He took sets microwave traps, using them to keep everyone away. We need to get him out of there quickly so I can give him medication pills for his brain. I know not where this arm is you seek. Horton has spoken very highly of you, Okay, 
Max, come. You and me, we'll play some footy. Big sauce. Now, Max, no sad face today. Come. Let's play. Big sauce. Do you not think I see it? How you take the easy way out? Do you not think I've been there too? To see my friends murdered in front of me. My family. My children. And how easy would it be to give in and crawl into the dark hole in my mind and stay there till life means nothing? Do you have any idea what I've had to do to keep myself from breaking? To pull myself up? To block the pictures out? And when I see you sad like this, I can't stand it. Because it reminds me of them. Because the pictures come back and makes me sad. And I can't go in that hole one more time. Because the next time, I won't come out. Do you understand? So smile, Max. For God's sake, smile. Max, huh? smile. Max, huh? smile. Max, smile. Max. Okay, Max. Okay. Maybe I can't make you happy. But it makes me sad to be around you. Max, huh? Any luck finding Fergus's arm? Ask around, see if anybody's seen it. The old Scott lost his arm. Well, sorry, I can't be of much help, brother. So, you were a teacher? History teacher, yes. I like history. It's just hard to tell what actually happened and what's bullshit. Kids in America today, they open a textbook and it'll say the Fuhrer painted the Mona Lisa. That's why they say history is written by the victors. I guess we better fucking win then. <laughs> right you are. Fergus's arm. But when a pig goes missing, first place I look is where the feed is. Fergus's arm, uh, Fergus's arm. N nope. I can't just say that I've seen it. Oh, Shim Shim. Uh, Paris Jack. Told me there was a problem with Fergus's arm. I, I had no chance to talk to Fergus about it yet. Uh. Hi there. Fergus's so, arm. You've been to another it's planet. Bad. But I have you ever been to Sweden in the summer? Mentioned something about him and. Maria having a fight. Go talk to the professor. She m might know more. Nah, Fergus, I'm, I have not seen. I hope also that not seen it. With Eklid, you might have a robot arm. Hey, Terra Billy. I might have some information for you. Uh, when I speak to Fergus at party, both arms were attached to shoulders. I think. Hey, Paris Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night.
See the lass over there? Christ, man, don't look. I was meaning to give her this rose, and uh, I wanted to say something romantic here. Yeah, romantic, right? No, on occasion. Right. <laughs> Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and I want her to know I'm an honourable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then I hand her the rose, and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. Yeah, I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play some to set the mood. <laughs> Ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. Ah! What kind of woman do you think I am? I have had enough of you, you stupid fucking arm. I will teach you some manners. You saw him storm off toward the hangar. Mm-hmm. Don't think I've ever seen a man that angry. Thanks. Jerry Billy. All right. Fergus was last seen heading for the oh, hangar field depot. Then he left his arm there. The words all look like gibberish. I like reading too. But it told me once, Tuma. Get your nose out of that goddamn book. Lord, oh Lord. My darling husband Jacques used to read all the time. When he wasn't painting. Your husband a painter man? What'd he paint? Usually me. More or less clothed. Oh, wait. I figure I'd do the same if I had a wife as handsome as yourself. If you don't mind me saying so, man. He told me my body was a work of art created by the mighty Lord himself. And he was merely his messenger trying to commit perfection to canvas. I told him he was full of crocodile shit. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? Jack died during the New Orleans riot in 51. Never found his bones. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I know what it's like losing your loved ones because of the Nazis. Well, it's history now. Tears dried. Life moved on. Lord, what other option do we have? Lay down and die? No, ma'am, not this American. I told myself I'd go down fighting for my country and my freedom. Even if most of my countrymen sat on their lazy asses as the Nazis marched in the power. You're a good man, Tuma. Thank you, ma'am, for them kind some words. Ever feel like everything is hopeless? Existence is just a broken record, repeating over and over for all of eternity? Shoot. That's a bleak outlook on life, miss. Maybe so. Wanna just call the whole resistance thing off and go drown ourselves in the moon pool? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty then. You just let me know. Ugh! This god off a book could crawl away and die somewhere for all I care. Max Hoss. I have one major pet peeve, Max, and it's bad metaphors in literature. Have a listen to this. George went to work on her rosebush like a gardener in springtime. Oh, I mean, excuse me, Mr. Highfalutin author, but I'm reading your erotic mystery novel to get turned on, not the exact opposite. Max Hoss. I'm just a bit upset, is all, Max. Max Hoss. A lady doesn't kiss and tell, darling. Max Hoss. But since I've never been much of a lady, I might as well just tell you. I had a bit of a romantic encounter with your friend Bombate last night. Yeah, and it seemed to me that we had a certain something going on. But the next thing I know, I am wrapped up in some sort of rivalrous triangle with that Nazi girl. I mean, how was I supposed to know he was spoken for? Exos? 
You're right, Max. He's nothing but a no-good womanizer. Bless his heart. And I should just put him out of my mind. She had nipples like two pink rosebuds waiting to be watered by the gardener's hose. If I had a fork or something, I'd stick my eyes right out. Max Hoss. Did you want to show me something, darling? Max! Oh my god. Max, you made this? Max Hoss. You know, I studied art history at the university on account my daddy was an art dealer. And I used to love wandering around the gallery. I'd say what you've done here would sell for big bucks anywhere in the country, Max, and that's the God's honest truth. Max Hoss? Damn. Do you mind if I just... sit here and look at it for a while? Max Hoss. Just... Wow, Max. I haven't seen Fergus's arm guy. Just looking at the thing gives me creeps. Okay, R. Where are you hiding? You looking for Fergus' arm? I heard he had some call with that beautiful French madame, Maria. He says the arm of Fergus is angry, dangerous. And he says nothing more. Take care of I've seen the armor Fergus, brother. Bonjour, Chez. Any luck with your search? Nothing to contribute. <laughs> Do you train to fucking kill me? And there you go. Old Horton's patented hangover blaster always delivers. Boom! What are you lot loitering around for, huh? Have we got a mission briefing to attend? The party's over there. Brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is gonna make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver show live from Hollywood, California. 
Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're gonna infiltrate the Aus Mercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch and we take her out. What you got? Fargoes, I decrypted the Odin codes Hep Leskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out it's just one simple word Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Chris! out. What? <laughs> Don't ever call me a Nazi again. I am not a Nazi. You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you... Idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No way! Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. Sake. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Earth's Merzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. Three different Odin control centers on the Ausmerzer. Two of them controlling the automated defense system. The Hugen control center for the port defenses. The Munin control center for the starboard defenses. Finally, there's the Odin main control center for the ship itself. Understood. How do we get to them? There's a terminal concealed in the floor in the center of the room, which will open the door leading to the Hugen control center. Found it. The other parts of the ship are harder to access from your location. Bring up the ship's schematics in the terminal and see if there's a way to reach them, Anya. William, find a Hogan control center and shut down the port defense system. I'll stay here and try to figure out our way around this ship.
A-L-L-A. Well done, William. The port defense systems are offline. Get back here as soon as possible. I think I found a way to reach our other objectives. William, I need some help here. Hurry, please. Jump into the transport pod, they're on the other side. I've reprogrammed this to take us to the upper parts of the ship. We can reach the other Odin control centers from up there. Hold on. I love you, William. William, there's another shaft on the other side. You should be able to reach the Munin control center from there. I need you to go there and shut down the starboard defense system. I'll keep making my way to the Odin main control center.
I'm closing in on the Odin main control center. Let's meet there once you've disabled the starboard defense system. Now that the starboard defense system is shut down, you can go back out to the troop deployment hall and climb up the robotic deployment arm. I'm outside the Odin main control center. Lots of activity in this place. Get here as fast as you can. to hear you getting close, William.
Wow. <sighs> Darling, I think I'm done with this. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Me. You got your shit, bitch. Look at here, Frank. I'm still shooting the shit to the TV. This was your dress? I thought it was a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Wunderbar. Wunderbar. <laughs> we'll be right back with more from General Angle and Decapper after this. Can I stay here? I just can't be a part of what must be done. It's okay, Sig. You've earned your keep. Now for the rest of y'all. Y'all ready to start a revolution? Let's do this. Camera three, truck left for your wide shot. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. What? Look! Stay on the air. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus, it can't be him. God, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Go out there, darling. Easy. America Easy. needs to see you. It's Terra Billy. It's fucking Terra Billy, man. Time to go terrorize and Terra Billy. Feeling it, General? Doom is coming. We're here with a true hero, one of the biggest names we've ever had on this show, the scourge of terrorists everywhere, General Engel! Yeah! Yeah! All right! Thank General you. Engel! <laughs> this needs nice. to happen up close. For you, Caroline. All right, all right. General, I'm going to say what's on everybody's mind. Take us through the moment you executed Terror Billy. What, what, what was that like for you? you? It must have been so emotional. Well, Jimmy, I remember as I was swinging my saber, I thought to myself, we are safe now. Terror Billy was a terrible threat to everyone's safety. A demon disguised as a man. But I have proven that even a demon will fall before the righteous hammer of the right. Yes, 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 uh-huh, yes. And people of America, I promise you this. If there are demons amongst you, we will hunt them down. Just like William Joseph Blaskovich, they will die and burn until they are no longer a threat to the safety of decent folk. Woo! You hear that? Did you hear that? Yes. 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 All right. All right. Wow. Powerful words, General. Powerful words. You all saw the pictures. There was a lot of blood. Things got messy. But through it all, all I could think was how this man took my beloved daughter's secret from me. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, General, General, 
I think I speak for all of America when I say that Sigrun must be so proud of you wherever she is tonight. Yeah. She was always a little on the heavy side, you know? And very vulnerable to bad influences. Oh, yeah. We were even thinking to send her to the Utana, you, uh, Utanazi program. Uh, euthanasia? Uh, the mercy killing? Yeah. Ah. Okay. But, you know, then okay. she turned things around. Mm. And just when it happened, she told me, Odi, I want to lose weight. I want to be healthy and strong like you. Oh. <laughs> oh. General. Listen. Tell me something. How do you stay so slim? <laughs> German genes and discipline! Yes! Wunderbar! Wunderbar! But the ultimate testament to German resolve is that Terror Billy is gone forever! And we. and we are forever. Grateful, isn't that right, folks? Yeah! Forever grateful. General Angle. May I say, General, I have had many, many people on this show, but few have shown the integrity and grace that you have. And I, I am not just saying that because you paid me. <laughs> wonderful! Wonderful! All right, all right, a lot of fun. Simmer down, everybody. It's time to pay the bills. We'll be right back with more from the lovely General Angle after this. sitting in front of your Nazi television boxes. Just laughing. <laughs> laughing all the lies they've been feeding you. Laughing till you're choking. Well, it ends tonight. Oh, yeah, it ends tonight. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America, tonight, we, the free people of the resistance, ask you to become one of us. He's lying. He's lying. There's a threatening, there's a torture, and there's a killing. They beat you in submission. They beat you. They, they made you, you're very soft to cry. But if tonight, you gather, speak freely from your heart. Yes. Or use one of us. Right on. And if tonight we see you on the streets with a knife or a brick, or just your clenched fist fighting the powers that be, then you are one of us. And then for tonight, you look down upon your hands, and they soaked in the blood of our oppressors, and you is one of us. Yes. 
tonight you hold your babies in your arms. I swear they'll grow up to be free people. Then you are one of us. Did you forget? They brought this war to our shores! Yes, sister. And then they beat us! They murdered us. They executed us. But guess what? Tonight, they also find out that they fucked with the wrong country. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. When we stand together, ain't nothing and no one can take our country from us. Tonight, they burn. Tonight, you are one of us.